my dream growing up was actually the Filipino Michael Jordan. Okay. Michael Jordan, six foot six. I am not, so I failed that goal. But here's the thing. I kept trying, I kept practicing, and I got even worse at basketball. <laughs> got pretty good at gambling, though, just like Mike. <laughs> Michael Jordan is so good at what he does. He's so good at what he does. He's become the now the greatest of all time. But whatever you do, you beat a Michael Jordan of podcasting, a Michael Jordan of toy collecting, a Michael Jordan of losing money, which ironically is Michael Jordan. I want to be the Michael Jordan of telling jokes about Michael Jordan. <laughs> Like, growing up, my favorite film was the original Space Jam. It's a perfect film. Other than the fact it has way too much R. Kelly in it. Film kicks off. Michael Jordan's playing basketball with a dad. R. Kelly song kicks in. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. I love doing that joke because it's the only time you're allowed to sing R. Kelly in public now. <laughs> but I believe in, uh, you know, watching uh, all of our big Filipinos in Hollywood, and the new Space Jam had one of our biggest Filipinos in Hollywood, Daffy Duck. <laughs> Daffy Duck is now portrayed by a Filipino voice actor named Eric Bauza, so we take full credit for him. He's ours now. <laughs> no take back to white people. <laughs> Feels different on the other side, doesn't it? <laughs> like I believe in supporting all Filipinos. Like we have any Olivia Rodrigo fans in the audience? Just a few. You know, you, you, don't, you don't need to woo loudly. You can just sing to you in your heart. You know, driver's license. Uh, you know, me and Olivia have so much in common. She's very pretty. I'm very pretty. She has a driver's license. I have a driver's license. She hates her ex-boyfriends. I really hate her ex-boyfriends. <laughs> and uh, we're both Filipinos. She's one of those undercolor Filipinos. We got a lot in Hollywood, like everyone know Dave Batista. Yeah, Drax the Destroyer, also Filipino. Now some people are surprised about that. I tell you, you have a little bit of surprise about that. I don't get why me and Dave look so alike. But you all think of Filipinos Day. I want you to think of Olivia Rodrigo, Dave Batista and me, Jay Aquino. You got Vogue, GQ, Mad Libs. <laughs> like, I, I think growing up as a Filipino American in America is hard. Um, I'm a second generation Filipino American, which means that uh, my family's born in the Philippines, but I'm, uh, I'm born in America. And, uh, you know, I used to say first generation sometimes, but my mom corrected me. My mom's right. My mom worked as a nurse for 30 years so I could be right here on this stage in America. <laughs> Big mistake on her part. <laughs> but you can't blame me for saying first generation sometimes, because uh, what's more American than taking credit for the work of immigrants? <laughs> I remember, our, like, I was talking to my mom when I was younger, and I asked her why did she, like, my mom had to choose. I was made in the Philippines. My mom, parents had sex, and then my, uh, my, uh, you know, they brought me over here, and then my mom was pregnant. And I had to ask her, why did you do that, mom? And she was like, well, you know, my mom told me that she wanted me to have a chance to run for president if I wanted to. Run for president of the United States if I wanted to. That's a beautiful idea, right? It's a beautiful idea. Until you realize she said run. She did not think I could win. I'll leave y'all with this and we'll get this start, uh, show started. Uh, one of my worst nightmares came true recently. One of my worst nightmares came true. I uh, put my joke book on top of my car and I parked my car in a neighborhood I should have never parked in. My neighborhood. <laughs> my license plates got stolen. My hub caps got stolen. My joke book <laughs> was completely fine. <laughs> in fact, they wrote some improvements in it. You heard them all tonight, everybody. 